We're going to the moon, and we're just getting started. After 100 days of deep space cruise, the Series 1 lander arrived in lunar orbit. The successful completion of this long voyage not only validates the Series 1 lunar lander design, it represents the completion of a series of successes for iSpace. The verification of our communication technology, structural design, software, maneuver operations, and others, all while having overcome unexpected issues and hurdles along the way. After completing a series of orbital control maneuvers, the lander is scheduled to initiate its automated landing sequence from lunar orbit. Throughout this phase, the lander continues to orbit the moon while approaching its designated landing area. Other than the primary landing location in Atlas Crater, three alternative sites can be targeted in case that any anomalies or other unexpected events prevent the start of the landing sequence for the primary candidate site. In that case, additional orbits are performed to align the lander's trajectory with the new target sites and to allow for optimal use of lunar daytime after landing. During the landing sequence, the lander performs a series of automated actions. Approximately one hour before planned touchdown, the lander begins the deorbit insertion phase, firing its thruster to reduce its parallel altitude from approximately 100 kilometers to 25 kilometers. Continuing on its orbit, the lander moves to the far side of the moon, losing direct line of sight and communication with ground station. Approximately 45 minutes later, the lander reappears from behind the moon and begins its braking burn to slow down its descent. Onboard instruments are used to determine the distance from the lunar surface. The lander utilizes a power descent control algorithm developed by Draper Laboratories using proprietary guidance, navigation, and control software, drawing from years of experience dating back to the Apollo program. In the final moments before landing, the lander relies on its assist thrusters to perform a soft touchdown. Attempting a lunar landing brings many challenges. This is truly a daring endeavor. The impact of landing is mitigated by a shock absorption system inside the landing gear. After landing, the lander performs initial checkout activities to confirm the integrity of its systems. Simultaneously, stable power delivery to all systems is resumed and electricity is generated via the surface-mounted solar arrays. A high-gain antenna will be used when attempting to establish communications with ground station. Next, the deployment and operation of payloads begins such as the UAE's Rashid rover as part of the Emirates lunar mission, a transformable lunar robot for the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, experimental devices such as solid-state batteries by Natera and multiple payloads within the Canadian Space Agency's LEAP program. On mission one, surface operations are expected to last approximately 10 days, effectively using lunar daytime for the lander and its payloads to perform various tasks among others, and representing the first such transaction of its kind. Ownership of lunar regolith is planned to be captured by the iSpace Series 1 lander during landing, and will be transferred to NASA as part of the Artemis program. As the first mission of the Series 1 lander, data collected during the entire mission duration will contribute towards future developments, and will help to improve the performance and reliability of iSpace's hardware during its next missions. Mission 2 is currently planned for 2024, and testing has already begun, with several customers already standing by to have their payloads transported to the moon. Planned for 2025, Mission 3 will be utilized for the fulfillment of NASA CLEPS task orders as a member of Team Draper. Preparations are underway and are progressing rapidly. We're aiming to perform the world's first lunar landing by a commercial enterprise. This is the beginning of our vision to create a cislunar economy iSpace is in it for the long run, and we're just getting started. Never quit the Lunar Quest.